going on ladies and gentlemen welcome back to another video today we're going to be talking about a bunch of adventure quest news involving adventure quest 3d and adventure quest worlds uh, actually it's not that much but some cool information in this video if you're not keeping up with the news let's get into it in three two one this way forever. <laughs> Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. I say that way too much at the beginning of my videos. There's a July rare shop in the game and it is August. Uh, we could assume those items are going to be going away soon. <laughs> um, who knows. But a lot of people ask me where I get uh, the Charizard pet that I have. And it is in fact in the July shop right there along with Lugia. And a few other a cool Pokemon. Uh, so you can definitely pick that up if you want. It's 200 ACs non-member pet AC item, of course. A very cool running animation on the pet. I love my Charizard in-game. Actually, it's a Charmander. And uh, maybe I can evolve it into a Charmeleon. Let's get into the next news. Our next bit of news, the Falcon Commander upgrade set is going away soon. If you want to pick it up, you literally have a few hours to pick it up. It is 2,000 adventure coins or a three-month membership away from being in your items. Once you purchase it, uh, you can find it in the Book of Lore. It's only available till tomorrow, uh, where I'll be showing you the next one, uh, which we're getting a new set tomorrow. Here is the set, the minimum version of the set. A lot of mouse clicks going on. Oh, they added a pet to it? Oh, cool. Okay. I did not realize I added a pet to that, but that's the uh, set. Not my favorite one, but if you like it, you only have a few hours to pick it up after this video is uploaded, so uh, go and do that if you want. Otherwise, it's going to be gone tomorrow, permanently rare, so yeah. Alright, so this one's, I actually kind of like this set, to be honest. Um, I'm sure the helmet's going to, hopefully that doesn't retexture your face, so you can wear this armor with any hair. Although, I do have my helmets that retexture the face for me, so that's fine. But, the Shadow Strike Warriors is going to be next month's upgrade. August is August. That's plural for August. I don't, there's no plural for August. It's a month. It's going to be August upgrade. That's weird. Uh, if you spend $10 US or more, just like I explained before, you get uh, one armor, two helms, one cape, two weapons, a pet, and a bunch of gold and uh xp boost i never see these in my inventory when i get this i don't know why uh it might be a bug uh i've i buy the thing every month i do they go straight into my bank because i know i have a bunch of xp boosts and stuff in my bank but i have so many that i can't tell if they add five of them to it um so maybe they go straight into my bank i never see them show up so i don't know what that's about um but uh, apparently you get them so uh, did not know they they gave you that that's actually pretty valuable those are pretty helpful. Um, so, of course, there's two t different tiers where you get three armors in the top tier and only one in the bottom tier. Hopefully you get that armor in the bottom tier because that's actually a pretty nice looking armor. I don't much mind that sword either. Looks very, very cool. So that set will be coming out Friday, which is tomorrow, if you're watching this video on the day it's uploaded. And I'm sure every Adventure Quest player is excited for, including me. I'm super excited for this. I can't wait. Um... TLAPD. It's only 45 days away, less than a month, less than two months away, like a month and a half away, like literally a month and a half away, 45 days. So, um, if you want to, you can uh, you can retweet this uh, reply to Elena's post, so maybe she sees it. Uh, 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 uh. Um, but she put up a poll um, for uh, suggestions on. The TLAPD. I'm sure you can leave your own suggestion on this poll, like uh, like I did. You know, you know. Come on, oh, please, please, please. Color custom, please. Okay. Um, go retweet that after you watch this video, please. Um, <laughs> I just really want that to happen. That'd be amazing. Um, so yeah, TLAPD is only 45 days away. I thought that was worth putting in the news because they're currently taking suggestions for items. So maybe if you're an artist and you want to make one in Flash and uh, send that to them, they might put it in the game. I don't know. I've done that before, I think. So if you want to do that, check out Elena on Twitter and uh, send her a thing. Apparently a thousand people are excited for it because they got over a thousand or I guess exactly a thousand votes. So 
Yeah. Wow, actually, we have a lot of good news in this episode. I did not think the news was going to be this good in this episode, but I forgot about this actually before I started recording. Dragon Slayer General, uh, this class that we've been shown a while ago, uh, have, have been having it teased to us and is finally coming to Adventure Quest this Friday. Um, not sure how you acquire it. It says all heroes can battle during the Dragon Slayer General class. It'd be cool if they made it a class that you could just earn and you can't buy a phrase these, but we all know that's not going to happen. But uh, still very cool. Very cool. Can't wait for that to be in game. It looks like a nice class. I like the armor design on it. And I'm sure it's going to be good when it's in the game tomorrow. Awesome. About the updates that are coming out tomorrow, we have the Elemental Dracovich War. Is that how you say it? I don't know. I can't pronounce anything properly. Let's be honest. Um, so you're gonna battle elemental or dragon slayers. I guess uh, you gotta pick. It's a war meter, as normal, and help each side reach 100. The one that reaches 100 first will get banned on Steam. My bad, I forgot to go off on Steam before sending, starting recording. Not sending. What am I sending? Someone sent me a message. Thank you for interrupting me. Um, the first person or team, I mean, to win the war will permanently impact the world of Adventure Quest Worlds. Um, very interesting. I wonder what the impact will be. So both sides are going to fight. I'm pretty sure the Dragon Slayers are going to win because I don't know who these guys are, but I'm pretty sure they're going to get their asses kicked because, you know, everyone likes the Dragon Slayers a lot more, but who knows? Who knows? I mean, I'm probably going to be battling. I, I guess the gear would be better if you want a Dragon Slayer. I don't know how that's going to go, but that will be happening tomorrow. That'll be interesting. I'll definitely join in on that war. Okay, now I'm going to quickly go through some AQ3D news, including Dragon Slayer is getting added to AQ3D. I think it'll be available for founders before anyone else. I have the founder badge. I don't know. I don't know. It'll probably be available actually for Kickstarters before anyone else. So if you're a Kickstarter, this class will probably be in game soon. It looks really nice. I like the art design on it. That'll be in AQ3D soon. Artix has admitted that the um, making the game harder uh, turned it into Dark Souls. And yeah, I was playing AQ3 on stream for a little bit in the starting areas. And in the starting areas, I was getting my ass handed to me by Frog Zards. Uh, they were 3v1ing me. It's not very fair. <laughs> I can take one. I can't take three. Okay. Um, OMG, these slimes are one-shotting me. Yeah, it was insanely hard to play. A lot. Of, there was actually a few people that got to max level. They grinded through that. I don't know how they did so, but I think they implemented changes in it right now, uh, question mark. I haven't really looked into it too much. AQ3D is kind of iffy for me right now with their microtransactions and all that stuff, but they've been implementing a lot of updates to AQ3D, and it's good to see them developing this game, making it a better game, and... That cape looks awesome. That's Jealous. <laughs> That's his name. I wish I had that cape. That's pretty cool. So yeah, hopefully they fix the new player experience and stuff like that. And hopefully AQ3D becomes a better game the more and more they develop it. So uh, also why I want to talk about this in the first place is they push back the open beta. So the players that have not spent any money in any Arctic Entertainment game, which you can spend $10 and get in the open beta right now if you want to or less. Like I think it's like $5 is the minimum. So if you really want to get into the closed beta and get that closed beta badge, you can uh, spend $5 in AQW and get 900 ACs and then join in on the closed beta if you wanted. And also, if you find one of those cape giveaway sites that I'm, they might still have some capes, I don't know, you get a key when you get the cape. So if you search like AQ3D cape giveaway or whatever on Google, you might be able to find some keys. That they might, they're probably all gone. There might be a site that has them still, so if you find one of those, you might be able to get in still. Um, so, yeah, uh, they pushed back the open beta. I'm not sure when it'll go open. I will definitely keep you up to date on that, but uh, closed beta will be a while longer than they thought initially. So, that's going to be the news for today, guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you did not. I don't mind. Yeah, tell me with your thumb up or thumb down whether or not you like this kind of video. And I will see you guys all tomorrow on the live stream. We're going to be streaming at 3.30 Pacific Standard Time at a specific time. 3.30 on specific.
Pacific Standard Time. Those two words are very similar. Um, so I'll see you guys there 3.30 tomorrow evening. When the update hits, that's when we're going to be playing with the new class, the new package, the new update. It's going to be good tomorrow. I'll see you guys all there. Thanks for watching. Peace. Click the video in the top right corner if you haven't seen it yet, and I'll see you all in the next one.